Hello guys, hope everyone's having a great day. This is 2333, here with Mirror Tone 7800 System Test 1. So for this test... Shut the fuck up. Anyways, for this test, I'm joined by... Equal Star 68. As always, it seems. This guy won't fucking leave me alone. Anyways, so as you can see, we've got a new panel here. Well, not new. This thing's old as hell. But uh, yeah, it's a Mirror Tone... Series 7800 Fire Alarm Control Unit. This is a 1984 model, I believe. So it's it's getting up there in years, but still works for the most part. Got a couple issues, though. And so it's a it's an 8-zone, 2-knack conventional panel. Um, expandable to 12 zones. I don't know how to do that. But as you can see, it's pretty basic. Uh, got all your control switches here. No buttons, surprisingly. Got your zone disable, zone program, uh, stuff like that. Two knacks over here, zones over here, transformer. And I have no batteries because I don't know what this one takes. And I got a new AC cable. Yay! Anyways, so yeah, for the initiating devices, I've got two Mirror Tone 73201 uh, dual action poles. These are extremely cool. They're really unique, but they're kind of a pain in the ass. And for the bell, since I don't have a mirror tone bell, I use this uh, ADT3210-013M uh, vibrating bell. This thing's a power hog, wow. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the buzzer on this. That's a cool sound. And so... This panel can only do continuous, but I'm going to unsilence the troubles because, well, I'll show you what happens after if you leave the trouble silence on when you pull it. All right, so here goes unsilence trouble, and let's pull it. Three, two, one, go. System's in alarm. really isn't that loud. Alright, silence. I forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, let's... Yeah, true. And yes, this is my work iPad. <laughs> Anyways, here goes. Next pull. What the fuck? No, it shall not go on. Okay, something... I don't know what happened there. But, uh, here goes. You know what? Screw it. We'll simulate it. As you can see, this thing's got problems. Alright, I'm gonna reset this other pole here. Oh. Yeah, this is how you reset them. Take the cover off. Pop that back up. Cover back on. And so, yeah, that's one of the problems I've noticed with this panel. Sometimes the knacks don't like to activate. Shit. So, you know, let's do a reset and try that again. There it goes. Silence. Let's see, does it do this subsequent? Worked that time. All right, here goes. Let's reset. And yeah, I'm gonna do a little more experimenting with this this system to see if I can fix it because it does have its issues. And um, now I'm gonna show you guys what happens if I once I reset it. I'm gonna show you guys what happens if I pull it with the trouble silence uh, active. See, it's silenced now. That'll buzz. Basically, to let you know that there is an active alarm in the system. So, there. And, yeah, I think this came out of a rec center. Oh, fuck this stupid phone. Stop falling. Alright, let's give her a reset. 
And this thing's got quite a few features for what it is. It's got um, auto silence. I think it's got a silence inhibit as well. You can add signal zones, um, initiating zones, and you can even configure them for non-latching. So I'll demonstrate that here. I'll set this zone as non-latching. Come on. Just by popping that up. These are cool data switches too. So yeah, now when I pull this, I'll take the cover off first just to make it easier. Ugh, God bless the United States. All right, so here I'll pull this. Goes off, now. Let's try that again. And I did it wrong. Oh, that's what happened. Let's fix this. No! There we go, now it should be. Go. And it... Oh, you still have to silence it. But yeah, I think that pretty much concludes our test. Um, yeah, this panel's got problems. Hopefully I'll be able to fix them. If not, I'll just, uh, you know, fuck around with it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Anything else to say?